What is up, my buttery biscuits? I apologize if my mouth is like blah, 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 in this video. I'm just trying to bust out these videos real fast and I'm too lazy to get up and get some water and I feel like I got cotton mouth going on right now. So I'm like, I'm sorry if I like spit within this video. I'm sorry if my mouth sounds dry. I apologize. Anyways, today's video is my new makeup drops. Are they bops or flops? You guys know that I do this every single month and yeah, this is another month. So I'm doing December, obviously. If you guys have not checked out my second channel, make sure you guys click the link down below. Why did I point like I'm working at Disneyland. Oh my gosh, when I used to work at Disneyland, y'all, I used to get so frustrated with that because I would literally get in trouble by manager. It's just like habit to point with one finger, you know what I mean? And literally one time I was on the verge of getting written up for pointing with one single finger. I was like, excuse me, my bad, Jesus. So I just did that right now. Anyways, make sure you guys check out my second channel, which is my travel channel with my brother. I upload new videos there every single Sunday and I've been having a blast. If you guys have not checked it out, please do so. Like just check out like one of the like recent three videos on there because y'all I've been putting in work and I just feel like it's oh my gosh I feel like it's a work of art now honestly like I'm like oh my gosh I never thought in my whole entire life that I would be into vlog editing and I'm like it's becoming my new hobby like I'm just so obsessed with it and I'm just having so much fun with it so make sure you guys check out that channel once again I upload new videos there every single Sunday within today's video we're gonna be talking about new makeup drops are they bops or flops and y'all nine times out of ten I really do want to purchase everything on the list it's just the truth of the matter is I don't have the money to because I'm spending too much money traveling and eating you know what I'm saying so I'd rather spend money on that than have like an excess of makeup. I really do feel like I'm becoming less of a hoarder when it comes to makeup. You guys know that I've told you before, I probably have over like 120 palettes, I would say, but I'm becoming less of a hoarder now. And thanks to me doing these videos, to be honest with you guys, I know so many people are like, well, you always talk about makeup. Why don't you put on the makeup? And I'm like, I like talking about the makeup because then it keeps me from buying it. And if I'm putting on the makeup, that means I'm buying it. Do you know what I mean? If that makes any type of sense to you. So anyways, if you guys like this style of video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into it. The first product on the list I need to get your guys's opinion about this is the power grip primer with four percent niacinamide okay the reason why i need to get your opinion on this is because you guys know that okay first of all the power grip is supposed to be like a dupe to the hydro grip from milk you guys know once upon a time that was my favorite primer i don't know what's going on with my skin's ph i don't know what's going on with my skin's texture i really don't know um i think it was about maybe like six months ago seven months ago i purchased a refill and my skin just doesn't like it anymore some parts like cling to the makeup and some parts don't I just, I can't use that primer anymore. Like, I don't know what it is. And I'm so sad because, like, I should have kept the box to just return it. And, y'all, it's literally just sitting over there, like, completely full. I used it two times. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what is happening? So, I need to get your guys' opinion. Do you guys feel like this product is better than the Milk Hydro Grip or not? Because I have seen so many people say that this is better than the Milk Hydro Grip. So, I'm really curious to try it. But I really want to try this one right here because this is what it says. It's basically like a sister to the regular Power Grip. It says the gel primer formula with sticky texture grips makeup for long lasting wear infused with 4% niacinamide to help even out skin tone and brighten. What I love about this is I feel like it's skincare throughout the day while keeping on your makeup. So I'm like, oh my gosh, recently I like everything that I really like has niacinamide in it. And y'all, I feel like the more products that I use with niacinamide, even though I know people say like don't stack niacinamide on top of niacinamide because it's just like pointless to put multiple products of niacinamide on, niacinamide on. but I feel like the more I use it, the more I am seeing a difference. So I'm like, hmm. Should I get this? Should I not? Please let me know how it is. Honestly, Elf's products are super affordable. So this is something that I will like spend on because this is probably only like $12. Um, I'm getting this from Trend Mood. There is no price as of right now. So I'm really curious to know how you guys feel about this. If you guys have um, tried this or if you guys have tried the primer, uh, the Power Grip primer, please let me know because I really do want to get me a new primer, but I'm just scared that it's going to be like the Milk Hydro Grip and that just, it don't work for me anymore. Next up on the list, y'all, we have right here is Makeup Revolution. And y'all, you guys know that I never really have any Makeup Revolution products on my list. I probably won't get this only because I do think that it is in the UK. I don't know if maybe they'll have it here in Ulta. I'm really not too sure. If you guys don't remember, a few months ago, I was like obsessed with these Mark. Was it Mark Jacobs? Or G oh no, I think it was Givenchy. Maybe it was Givenchy where they had these like swirl lip glosses. And I was like, oh my gosh, like they look so beautiful. I love like every single shade. However, when they came out, they were like, I want to say maybe like $38 because of course it's Givenchy and they're like super expensive. So I never purchased any. So these right here are the dupe to that. And these say that they are $4.99 pounds or $7 each. Oh, if it says $7 each, then they should have it in the US. So I'm kind of like, um, I think that I will be purchasing the one on the far right and maybe the second one to the far right because those shades to me look beautiful. I just think it's kind of a trip though. And I do say it before, I do feel bad for the brands that come out with the original idea makeup revolution just stays ripping off brands 
And I feel bad for that because like, y'all, as a creative individual, like y'all, I used to get so heated when people would steal my ideas and like not credit me and stuff. And I just feel like it sucks. But obviously to us out there who can't afford the original, that's where dupes do come in. And I'm like, y'all, would I spend $38 on a lip gloss? Absolutely not. Will I spend $7 on a lip gloss? Absolutely yes. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like a catch-22 because honestly, I really do hate rip-offs, but at the same time too, like I just don't have the money to pay for the expensive stuff, you know? So this right here, honestly, if I see this in Ulta, I will definitely, uh, 100% for sure, I will be picking up the one to the far right. I like something that has a little bit of tint in it. I was gonna like show you guys my lips right now, but then I realized I just have on Vaseline. Normally I do put on the like tinted Vaseline one, but I ran out of that. So I do like something that has a little bit of pinkiness to it so i'll probably pick this up this next one on the list y'all it's gonna shock you guys it's gonna shock you guys it is a two-faced palette that i actually really love i know i know you guys have never heard me say those words here before on my channel i know you guys are probably just as shocked as i am but when i saw this palette i was like hold up Hold up. Is it because they finally got rid of Jared Blendino you know, that they're actually coming out with something cute? I freaking adore this palette right here. This is called the Pinker Times the Head, and I just feel like this is absolutely beautiful. It is definitely giving me like Huda Beauty vibes with those like speckle spats or whatever the hell it's called inside of the well, the purple shade and the golden shade to the left. But I think the color story of this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I like really, really love it. The random pop of green, obviously it looks so good right next to that burgundy because they are somewhat complementary colors, being that that does have a little bit of reddish in it. I just feel like it is just a beautiful palette and I've never said that about like Too Faced before. I'm like really tripped out by it because honestly, nine times out of 10, I feel like Too Faced palettes, not they're not necessarily ugly. They just don't wow me. They don't make me be like, oh my gosh, I want that. And this one right here, I low-key kind of want. This is $42 right here. So it's like not too bad of a price, but I'm like, oh, why is this so cute? Like, I just love the random like little pops in there, like the random pop of lavender, the random pop of green. Like, I don't know. I just find like it to be really, really cute. And that blue, y'all, that blue is gorgeous. So I'm low-key shook that I actually really love this palette. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like this day and age in my life, like I'm just trying so hard to not spend money that I probably won't buy this. But if it does go on sale at any given time, I probably will because I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Maybe this is something that I should buy because I haven't reviewed Too Faced in so long. Let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I should just buy it and do a review on this because it's, I can't even tell you the last time that I tried a Too Faced shadow. So let me know down below if I should try it. Um, next up on the list right here, we have the Fit Me Vitamin C Tint, but this says that it is for Asia only. I would actually like to try this product right here, but obviously I won't be able to try it because it's like in Asia. But this is what it says right here. And it does have an SPF of 50, y'all, which I love that. So this says oil-free tinted sunscreen BB cream makeup meets skincare infused with vitamin C, brightens skin instantly and over time. Acts like a sunscreen and foundation slash BB cream at the same time. SPF 50 natural coverage suitable for all skin types, but it's only available in six shades, obviously, because it is a tint. I know a lot of people get upset like when they hear like only six shades, but it's kind of like it's a tin. It's meant to, it's more adaptable. It's more forgiving, let's say. This is a product that I would actually like to try because y'all, once upon a time, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation used to be like my go-to, used to be like my favorite. Now that I'm into more of a lighter coverage, I feel like I would actually like this, but I don't know if it'll come to America. If so, I would like to try it out. Next up on the list right here, I, okay, maybe I'm tripping on this. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. These types of products just never really work for me, but I know everybody raves about rare beauty. So I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about this. This is, um, the new positive light under eye brightener. It says a super lightweight liquid that visibly brightens, hydrates, and awakens under eyes with sheer flexible light coverage visibly reduces dark circles and discoloration for a refreshed look look fast in an array of flexible shades last all day and won't crease cake or settle into fine lines and this is only 24 dollars. okay that got me really curious because i didn't read down that far to where it says crease or cake because i was specifically going to say i noticed that products like this that are meant to be like a sheer under eye brightener make my concealer crease like say for example i'll have like either whether it be like the um Oh my gosh, the KVD Good Apple Concealer or what's the other one that I like have been obsessed with? I forget the other one. But y'all, they don't crease on me. And if I mix something into it and then I notice it creases, so I'm like, oh no. Because y'all, the older I get, my eyes are getting a little bit sunken in underneath here. So I'm like, I want something that brightens, but I've just never found anything that works for me. So I'm really curious to know about this. I'll probably wait to see reviews to see how people like it. Because y'all, people like rave about Rare Beauty. And I have yet to try a product of theirs. And I feel like this is something that I low-key need, but I'm like, I don't know 
if it'll work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little bit iffy about this. I would really like like to try it out, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know. But the fact that it says crease cake free, then I'm like, oh, maybe I will try it. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. We have three products less, less to, left on the list. I swear within these past like five videos that I filmed, my talking is just going completely out. And I just don't understand why. Like maybe I drink too much. I don't really know. Cause I'm like, what is up? Like, why can't I speak? Anyways, this brand right here, I do not know how to pronounce. So I do apologize if I get it wrong. I've actually barely heard of them. Or maybe I did talk about them one time before. I don't really remember. This is Kaladios. I'm probably saying that way wrong. Kaladios makeup. I want to talk about this set right here specifically on the left. Like I really do love it. The set on the right, I love it too, but only the first two colors. The purple and the like fuchsia pink, I don't really like. In my perfect world, like honestly, y'all, I would have up until that burgundy and then cut off the two at the end. And I feel like this would be beautiful. Anyways, nonetheless, the first set, I really do love all those shades. Like all those shades right there, I feel like are absolutely gorgeous. They're my types of nudes. I like something that has a little bit of brown to it. You know what I'm saying? Rather than pink. Only because I feel like whenever I put on a pinky nude, like, I don't know, it looks weird on me. It's probably all in my head, but I just like something that's a little bit more brown. You guys know that already. So this set right here looks beautiful. I don't know how much this is. Trendmood just posted it and they um, basically said that this is their um, winter 23, uh, 20, wait, winter 2023 lip vaults. Wait, so like, is it coming out in January maybe? I don't know. There's no like release date or anything like this or no price points, but I do want to say like the little vault packaging that it comes in is super cute too. Um, I actually really do like these sets. How do you guys feel about this brand being that like, I really am not too familiar with them. Please let me know down below. Cause honestly y'all, all them lips to the left look gorgeous to me. Next up on the list, which I'm just like not feeling at all is another collection from ColourPop. You guys know that like, maybe it was like three months ago. I was like giving ColourPop credit. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. They're finally slowing down on the launch and then it seems like within the past like month and a half they have so much going on I really did think that their um it's a small world collection was their holiday collection turns out it's not this is their winter collection and I just don't like it this palette I just don't like it's not my vibes I just I don't I don't like it like at all like maybe I would like to try one of the lip oils because y'all know that I've been into lip oils recently but yeah for the rest of it it's just a no-go Last up on the list right here is Made by Mitchell. Have I asked you guys before about Made by Mitchell? I'm really not too sure if I have, but please let me know how the brand is. I want to get his makeup case so bad. I don't know if you guys have seen his makeup case, the like all black one. It's 40 bucks, which I think is an amazing deal. And I'm like, I need that makeup case. But the problem is I can never like buy it from his site only because like the shipping is like $25. So I'm like, I'm not spending $25 shipping on a $40 item. Like I'm just not doing it. So I always try to buy it from beauty is it beauty bay or beauty lish one of those and they're just forever sold out like i've legit been trying to buy it for like a year as far as the makeup though i really want to know how his like products are only because i love that he's coming out with like different stuff like i heard before that people love his blush which is like his liquid blush but y'all know me and liquid blush i won't try that but he's coming out with regular blushes and bronzers so i'm really curious to know how these bronzers will be because in the specific crushed up shades i think they look beautiful but i'm not throwing shade to y'all ukers out there okay i'm not throwing shade but i do know a lot of people from the uk love a really really orangey blush and i like a little bit more of a neutral blush like i like a mixture between like gray and orange do you know what i'm saying like mixed together so that way i get neutral and i'm a little bit scared for this so i'm curious to know what you guys would think of this because this shade oh my gosh what is that shade called i can't tell what it's called but the one in the top left that shade to me looks absolutely beautiful it looks like a shade that i would 100 love as a bronzer but then I'm also like a little bit scared of like, because if I'm keeping it real, like I think he is so talented. I feel like his makeup is so badass. But whenever I see his bronzer, I'm like, Oy, it's, it's really orange. Like that's just, it's not my preference. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm a little bit scared about these. So please let me know down below if you guys have tried any of his products, if you guys feel like even his blushes or his like liquid bronzers because or his liquid contours, let me know if they lean more orange because I'm like, y'all, that shade looks absolutely beautiful. Anyways, that sums it up for this list. Um, Y'all, as usual, I want like every single product on this list except for the ColourPop one. I probably should have thrown the ColourPop one in my anti-haul, but I think I saw it after the fact that I already had filmed that video, so I'm throwing it in this video. I think it is a flop, but I feel like the rest of the products are a bop. 
shooketh about the Too Faced palette. Like, to be honest with you guys, like, I actually really love that palette. I feel like it is so gorgeous. It is so playful. It's so fun. You have your neutrals. You have your pops of color. Let me know if I should pick that up and do a review because I have, I can't even tell you the last time that I tried a Too Faced shadow. So, I'm actually, like, leaning towards, maybe I should try it and do a review. Maybe that'll get me back into doing makeup here on my channel because it has been probably about six months since I've done a makeup review or tutorial. So, make sure you guys let me know about that. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.